Veil, a VR game that's been getting love and hate at the same time, whether you're posting about it on Twitter or Reddit or wherever other shitty opinions are posted. Shut the fuck up! Know your fucking place, trash! Well, I hope I can shed some loving light upon this work in progress game that is currently in alpha, and I must say that it is already, already one of the best games I've played in VR in terms of shooters. Before we go any further into the video, if you liked the video at any point in time or just found it insightful, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, do it. If you don't know what kind of content I create, I create content just like this, as well as funny moments stuff with other creators being absolutely scuffed or me being by my lonesome and also being absolutely scuffed. You can also follow me on other platforms with the link tree down below. If you want to chat with my souls and I, go to the soul chamber, my discord server, but don't just join my Discord server, join the Veil Discord server. Lots of good folk there. If you somehow do not know what Veil VR is, here you go. Veil VR is made by X Labs and holy hell, it is an extremely immersive VR competitive multiplayer shooter with hyper-realistic gunplay, mouthful, that also contains some amusing social interactions, particularly in the armory, your starting area, which is not completely out yet, but from the trailers, it looks absolutely prem. Veil vale currently has its artifact mode, which is based off of search and destroy from your other games, you know, Call of Duty, etc. And classic TDM, Team Deathmatch, of which I had the liberty of playing more of and hot diggity damn, my pantaloons are moist from the gameplay. And I mean moist, like wet, wet, like drip. <laughs> but I'll keep that information for the review segment of the video. The developers really have a love for this game. And an example of that is when the developers went to take their entire team to shoot actual guns to correctly get elements in order. They've also tackled net coding to synchronize the combat as best as they can to make zero latency a thing. And the X Lab team is taking every chance to make their game better and it really shows. When playing the playtest, some people thought there was no lore to the game as if it was just a competitive shooter and nothing more. Yet, after listening further and not speaking due to my crippling anxiety of the horror fest that was the Discord call, oh, shit. No. Uh, you can't reload. Oh my god! My eyes! My eyes! I can't see! I got a kill for once? Oh my! The lore is in a state of secrecy, but the homie Fox has provided a brief overview of the lore for me to share to you all. I'm going to paraphrase hell out of it though but feel free to pause and read it so here we go there are two factions Rayabs and the colonists they both fight for the same premise yet tackling it differently the air or Rayabs, the fellas in black are an organization that is trying to solve the ongoing issues on earth while the colonists basically said earth turned to shit and left it behind to live in space but something which is still a secret caused them to come back and collect the relics of the past which are also the relics of earth so basically to make it more Simple, I guess they are that fifth grader that got you their toy you. taken away, but the other fifth grader says that's theirs, it's and it's just a constant yeah, back and forth. And the fifth graders it's decide to fight each other to the death to get that toy. Happens. Earth and its relics are that toy, by the way. And I can't wait to tell you my thoughts on the game, even though you've already caught a glimpse of it. But first, as some of you may know, comes the scuff. Enjoy. I There's been you. less enough people oh, for my anxiety to die down. That's Actually, how I'm doing. Don't they stop? I think you're on Rayab, aren't you? I know you are a white man, but I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> so what are you, sir? <laughs> sir, I am the black man. What are you, Mr. White Man? Graham Graham, don't they stop too? Wait, you are, you are uh, Rayab, and I am colonist. Oh, bro, so high five. You said I was Arab. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I do have a bomb to my my arm. I could uh, bomb the hell out of people. Where you at, no, no. Gramster? Where you at, Graham Cracker? I want a piece of that cracker. Where you at, Cracker? Yo, is there shotguns in this game? Yes, but they're not working. Let's put it that way. We'll blame Enzo that they're not working. It's just, not true, but I just no, want to do it. Don't blame him. Go ahead. You know what? I'll go to the army and reveal your secret. Oh, okay. No, it's oh, not Enzo's fault. Shit. Nobody blame Enzo. <laughs> oh, shit. The potentially a dragon dildo in the armory that we don't know about. Oh. It was, it was, I agree. I thought you agree. Oh, you're stroking. Do it. Do it. Stroke. I just want to find the graham cracker. Come on. I haven't seen any crackers around here. This is uh, I, I beg to differ. There's a bunch of uh, crackers wearing white suits. Don't know. Yeah, you could you could say they're very, they are very close to a uh, certain clan, but I'm not going to mention it. You, you too, too man. Did, did see you, Ivan. I love and hate. Hey Graham. Hello. Do you want to execute me for the meme? Well, no. Why? Oh, good shit. Do it. Like, 
Take me to Allah. Yes. Back of the yes. Head. Let me see the better. Let me see okay. inside. Let me eat the fucking bullet. Do it. Do it. Pussy. Okay. Do it. How many licks does it take to Can get you? to the center of a tissue oh, oh. box? I was going to make a, a very lewd joke to that, Gramsci. Oh, How many gags does it take to get to the love. base of the cock? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Dude, uh, is it? Oh. Let me check again. I Next smell year. taste. I smell buffalo wings in my mouth. Check. That's not nice. <laughs> this, oh, I feel like I'm in a... Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, Miss Piggy. Oh. oh. Holy shit. Is that oh, Kermit the Miss Frog? Piggy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Give, me, give me that fucking pork rind right now. I can't get on spectating. I can't, I can't get on spectating, sadly. It doesn't matter. What, what did I just hear? <laughs> I, 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 wanna, I, I, wanna wanna I, I need to wash my eyes and the ears after that. <laughs> oh, Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy, I will give you death by snooze. It crashed on startup. Oh, and yeah, Miss Piggy, wait. you want to ride my frog cock? <laughs> <laughs> Well, is good. I I really feel uncomfortable. We can really we can really get a bacon wrap frog cock right hey. now. Hey, Gramsy, you got a nice hey. cock. You got a really hey, uh. Hey, 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 How do you get STDs? Hey yo, what the fuck? I'm just if curious, you, you know. If Wait, you have is, to ask, who, you probably who, who don't know already. Uh, no, no, I know you have yeah, to have sex with two actions for women, really women, good. or a guy. Can I just Let's like if it works. kill myself and, instead of listen to this tested. conversation? You have to, Does Kermit the Frog have STDs? Maybe like, I know he, he might. Hmm, Cause you know he oh, rap, wrapping that nice pork around my cock. It looks like it's a pack foul issue. Pack. Yeah, pack. Oh, sounds like y'all choking on some dick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That that sound that sound is absolute bliss to my ears. Keep doing that shit. You are getting me bricked up on a evening. I've got a nice brick in my pants. Now let me fuck that pork pussy. I, I have legally lost all my brain cells. So are you vegetable? Love is like circle. Can you sound like a girl? Sound like a girl. Uh, Onichan. Hey, what? Onichan. So ideal. No, like change your skin in the armory. I think there's a button like in the armory. Double kill, more like double come in your penis. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> hey, you want to play hot potato? Let's play some hot potato. Oh, oh sh shit! I uh, I have succeeded into becoming the Allahu Akbar best. You sound like uh, right. sound like Mr. White. Think fast. Mr. Think White. Fast. Walter White. Walter White. Think fast. Walter White. Think fast. Walter White. Walter White. There's no. Walter White. Yeah, Walter White, bro. Jesse. Jesse. There's not enough pussy. Jesse. There's not enough pussy in there for both of us. Mr. White. You can't get it up anymore. <laughs> Mr. White. Let me come in your ass. <laughs> You act like you surprised, bro. <laughs> I, don't know. I wonder why I'm not surprised. Bro, you... Say it again, say it again, say it again, but like more intense. Say it again, but like more intense. Let me come in your ass, Mr. White. Let me do it, Mr. White. You won't regret it, Mr. White. Take my seed, Mr. White. If someone throws a flash in my eyes again, I'm gonna... I'm going to bust a fat load. I'm going to bust the fattest loads in your eyes. I swear to God. You're gonna know with a real definition of a flashbang. Ah, uh, homie. Ah, uh, homie. You got a nice packer. <laughs> ah, I got cum in my eyes. Fuck. What? 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 Can't see. You got cum in your eyes? Someone came in my eyes, bro. Trade you see? You trade cum shots? That's right. I trade, yeah, I always trade cum shots. Bro. Trying to trade cum shots with me, bro? I didn't fuck my pussy. Hey, yo. I will. Hey, yo. Hey, Graham, let me do that. Let me do that, Graham, Graham. Can you rape yourself? You can You can try, but you'll just fuck your couch instead. I mean, I I, tried. I fucked my couch. Wait, what? You ain't here shit, boy. What is the Gramster? Why do you want to know? I don't know. Maybe I want to shoot cum in your eyes. I don't know. Oh, my God. Don't throw me with a good time, bro. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Where you at? No, it's just Red H, because he's it's a Red H, yeah. He's just an asshole. Yeah. Literally, can you get? Do you guys not have a? Just, just like, come, just, just come in his eyes, man. <laughs> bro, what? bro, what is it with you and coming in people's eyes? Yeah, <laughs> that's the answer to everything. Yeah, that's hey, a new guys, one. I'm kind of trying to. Sure, get your gun. A good shooting soul, god dang. Double kill, more like double cum in your eyes. Five. Get a three banger, dude. Three banger? 
three banger? No, not that magazine. Fuck off. Uh, not that type of banger, no. Oh, yeah. damn. You're too excited. Diff different banger. I was expecting Bukaki, damn it. You fucking, you, know, you piece of shit. Yes, degrade me more. Do it. Degrade me more. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, I had never run out of the chamber. Bro, why did you sound like you just no. came? Come in my eyes, I'm fucking hell! So <laughs> yeah. much cum, All right. Jesus. All right, that's enough cum for me. I'm done. That is also <laughs> enough cum for me. Ever so much. Lord have mercy upon my penis. God bless. Did Lord somebody just mercy. say you can never have too much cum? Is that what someone just said? Maybe. Although this game is an alpha, as of this video, Veil vale shows a lot of promise. Social interactions, the gameplay, the combat as a whole is just amazing. All of the guns and people have actual presence, meaning your body and gun cannot face through structures. The game currently does not have a lot of selections in terms of guns, yet it's enough to satisfy the palette and they plan to add a bunch more. As I said, it's in alpha still. The game is visually appealing as well. The graphics are actually really clean and crisp. If you look back at their older pre-alpha footage compared to what I recorded, they've done a number on getting those details in. Like when staring at the Rayab or Colonist model, the detail in said models are phenomenal as well as the structure of the guns the detail of the guns the only qualm i have of the game is the performance of the game but i don't completely care as again it's still an alpha stage as of this video yet for the most part it was fine there were some dips even with a 2080 ti and an i9 9900k clocked at 5 gigahertz i think this is mainly due to particle effects but again it wasn't immersion breaking my computer handled it pretty well and therefore I still had fun playing the SOB. I played it for more than a couple of hours and I want to go back into it. <laughs> the game is fairly optimized for an alpha stage game and it really shows. I played many alpha games off camera and many have had drastic performance issues, yet this one has them beat by a lot. I know from a previous event, when speaking with the developers, they have a bunch of content coming in due time. I also wanted to give some points of feedback though before going any further. Nothing major and nothing to make the game stray away from its core concept no just simple mechanic bits i guess simple things that cause issues basically for me anyway because well one thing could be blamed on the fat that i look around <laughs> yet it's something to consider that one thing is grabbing the magazines as i have grabbed the pistol ammunition instead of the my main firearm a lot and i would still try to put it in my vector or something and just like oh you, sh you should not fit in then i look at the actual magazine so oh that's a pistol mag and then I would proceed to die and respawn. And then I would do the same thing again in like 10 minutes or not even 10 minutes, probably five because I'm just dumb. But this could also correlate to the artist in me because I am an artist in a sense. I do draw, I draw my own artwork, etc. So maybe it's a hand-eye coordination thing because I'm an artist because, you know, my hand-eye coordination is pretty dog water and it shows. But it's something I wanted to bring up regardless because it feels a bit too close to the primary ammunition, at least for me. And hell, as I said, maybe it's just me because I'm fat. <laughs> I don't know. Another thing is the gun balances, but that's with every game. So I won't dive into that any further than I need to, which is none at all. <laughs> if I really tried, I think I could possibly find one more thing to give some feedback on. But this game is already well polished that I don't feel the need to look for anything because, well, as I said, it's polished. Why, why would I keep looking? I can't wait for the game to be released to a point where casual players can enjoy the game as this game is revolutionary in terms of the standards of gunplay with its zero latency and its weapon presence. It plays like Onward and Pavlov. It feels like Call of Duty and Counter-Strike if it weren't VR, but even that makes no sense because it's its own game and it feels like its own shooter, if that makes any sense. It has its own presence in the VR scene and it shows. Plus, you can actually see your arms and body, which is a giant plus for me. Gotta say that right now. Great job on that. Love it. Like I said, though, I cannot wait to play this more. And despite having the shittiest anxiety in games like these, I want to play it. But I know for a fact that Veil is going to be a staple for VR shooters. Hell, maybe even more than just the shooter category. And you cannot tell me otherwise. If you try, I'm just going to tell you like Donald Trump style and say, you're wrong. Absolute wrong. Proof. This VR experience is going to be transcendent. And that's a big word, but I feel like in VR, this game is going to be massive. Bale has their own Discord you can join. You can talk about Bale, interact with people there, be social, etc. Be more social than me. I don't know. And potentially get a key. I mean, you never know what happens. The link is in the description, as well as another link that provides more links. I hope you enjoyed the video as a whole. If you found it informative and insightful, be sure to like the video. And if it's up to your standards of boo-boo aids content, consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting that bell to get more of my scuffed ass shit. You can follow my socials via the link tree. It includes my Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon. And speaking of my Patreon, I want to take a small portion of the video to thank my patrons. Y'all have given me pride.
You can support me for as little as a dollar there or YouTube memberships. It doesn't matter. Pick your poison. But don't forget that it's basically a tip jar with some extra benefits. Also, join the Discord if you want to be up to date with my content or to just chat with me and my fellow souls. And one last thing is to keep your soul free and annihilate your enemies.